What is going on ladies and genitals? Yodi Slay here bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. This is a very competitive game of domination here on the map. Lockdown I think is what it's called. I'm not really sure on that. Don't quote me but I think I'm pretty sure I'm right. Maybe not. I don't know. I have about 75% confidence that that is right. This is one of the nights where I tweeted from Twitter that I needed some subscribers to play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 with. And these are some of the guys that joined my game, joined my lobby, and uh, we did our thing. And uh, pretty much we're doing good until their friends started joining them in progress. And before we know it, we have like... Dude, one hell of a lobby. I'm just going to say this was hard, and it was a battle to win, but we ended up getting the W. I go like 53 and 35. I just wanted to get the W. I'm still on a good win streak. Don't really recall the number right now, um, but I didn't want that to crumble right in front of my eyes to subscribers of mine. And you can see here we're triple capped and all that good stuff, but I am not going to talk about the gameplay. You are probably wondering what in the hell I'm talking about when you, it says, 100 orgasms in a day. What the French toast is he talking about? Okay. Okay. There's a lot of things that happen during my day, my day-to-day -day routine where I think of you guys automatically, you know. If, I see, if I'm driving down the road and I see a dog just giving it to another dog, doggy style, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely telling them about it. Okay, there's a lot of things that, you know, I experience throughout the day. And I want to tell you guys about it, but a lot of the times I just kind of forget about it because it's quite retarded. I mean, who wants to listen to a fucking dog getting that shit doggy style? Nobody. Well, maybe. I thought it was funny. I'm giggity driving down the road. Uh, but a lot of things happen throughout the day, and I always want to tell you guys, and I always like, dude, that'd make a great commentary, you know? Well, I sometimes I make the commentaries, as you know, and sometimes I don't, Yeah, which you guys don't know because you don't see them. And yeah, but tonight, dude, it's one o'clock in the morning right now. I got to be up in five hours, okay? But I just watched. I had a lady friend over, you know. She, she, she talked me and the litter come over for a little bit. We're kind of flipping through the TV channels and stuff like that. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? A hundred orgasms in a day? So I go to it as I grab that grenade like a dumbass and it kills all of us. Um, but. I see 100 orgasms in a day, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So we go to it, you know, we hit the info button, and it says three ordinary women experience, um, like, sexual, uneventful, I don't know, dude. These chicks are getting off like 100 times a day, and they don't want to be, dude. Okay. First off. That makes you laugh right there. I mean, to know that there's this chick getting off like 100 times a day. If you do the math, that's a that's a pretty high uh, ratio in a day, dude. That's like every 15 minutes she's busted one, okay? And I get to think, you know, that that's it right there is just crazy in its mind. How do you please a woman that gets off 100 times a day? I mean, you could please her definitely. If she's that multi-orgasmic, you're going to be able to please the shiz nizzle out of her. But if she's doing it 100 times a day, don't you think she's probably bored and used to this shiz? Like, it's one of those things where she's like, ah, oh, and it's like, yeah, I'm doing my job, but you don't even know if it's you doing it because she just experiences this shit as she goes, dude. She'd be driving down the car and fucking run over a fucking squirrel and it just excites her and she gets off, dude. What the fuck? And then I start thinking, I'm like, I wonder if dudes experience this shit. I mean, come on, guys. What if you were to blow a load in your pants a hundred times a day that shit would get old and i mean it's an actual disease like some i don't know if it's called a disease or a disorder i don't know what it is but these people are getting off like just like all day okay you've heard of the little pocket pushers and people using the little panty vibrators and stuff like that these chicks don't even need this shiz they're just busting them okay <sighs> but, dude, I don't know if it's a dude, but can you imagine, guys, if you were just blowing one every, like, ten minutes in your pants? Dude, that shit would get so old. Be like, hang on, I gotta go change my fucking boxes. You might as well just wear a goddamn diaper because you're busting a nut on that, like, that often. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> but then I start thinking, because my mind goes all over the place. 
You guys ever heard of Tourette syndrome? This is what I was starting to think. Okay, you know when you know people on Tourette syndrome, they've always been diagnosed as Tourette syndrome and stuff like that because they just have sudden outbursts. You know, some dude just be sitting there and just all of them be like nickel dime quarter ah! just out of the blue, dude. What if he has this sexual disorder and he's really just busting a nut? But he's embarrassed and he doesn't want to tell his doctor that he's just blowing one every five minutes. So they diagnosed him with Tourette's. How, what if this is getting confused here? This could be a very, very major medical breakthrough. What if these dudes are really just blowing loads and it isn't Tourette's syndrome? Guys, the next time you're at the, like, the grocery store and a dude just gets like weak in the knees and he just kind of collapses a little bit, he may have this sexual disorder. If you see a lady and she's like got her knees pushed together and stuff like that, she may not be trying to not to piss herself. She may be over here getting it going, dude. Okay? Not because she's trying to do anything out of the ordinary. She could just be standing there. Next time you hear a lady sneeze, and you know how she, you know how ladies they get that sneeze where they're like, <gasps> and then they stop it. Maybe she just got off. Who knows? Who knows? But dude. Wouldn't that be the funniest shit if your buddy, like, had this, like, disorder? <laughs> like, I would, it would be so easy to fuck with him. You'd be walking through the store, dude, and you'd kind of see him glumble. You'd be like, dude, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, dude. Like, dude, you fucking did it again? The fuck? I don't know. I can say, I can thank God that I don't have this disorder because I definitely don't want to be blowing a load a hundred times a day in my drawers. Okay, I hate riot shield little faggots too. You don't normally just run on them like that and shoot them. Now they got this shit where they wear it on their back, thinking it's gonna do something. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as these ladies getting off a hundred times a day. I want to hang out with these chicks one day. That's it. I don't. I mean, I just want to hang out with her. I don't want to do anything. Okay, I just want to hang out with her, and I just, I don't care if we're in a library. We could go to a public library. She could sit across the table from me, and I just want to sit there and look at her in her eyes for 24 hours and just experience this shit. Okay, a hundred times a day. That is just ridiculous. And I, I, these, these ladies act like it's an annoyance, man. They don't want this. I mean... I asked the chick when she was over there because I was like, man, would you like to get off a hundred times a day? And then I'm like, yeah, you probably would, you know, because she's like a fucking nympho. She's like, I don't know. It'd probably get annoying. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe it is annoying. I, I can speak for a dude, but we get a little messier than the ladies. I, I don't want to do it a hundred times a day, but, you know. I don't know, man. That's fucking crazy, though. There's people act actually out there just busting this shiz a hundred times a day, not even doing anything. That's nuts, dude. I, it's just like, I, I, I'm a loss for words right now just trying to imagine what it'd be like. Because what is the ratio on that? Somebody do the math. A hundred times a day divided by 24. Or, hold up. How would you do that? Hell, I don't know how you do it. You guys are smarter than me. I'm the dumb guy that just does commentary. And it's 1.15 in the morning now, and I'm tired, and I got to be up in four hours and 45 minutes. I told her I didn't want her to come over because I had to be up early, and what, what does she do? She comes over, and then we watch 100 orgasms, and now fucking look at me. I'm up here doing a commentary, and she says, camper over here keeps killing me. I'm getting pissed off. <sighs> but you can see I'm catching the B flag like a boss, dude. Just run into it every time they get it. I really wanted to win this, and it was a pretty good game, pretty exciting. Uh, we did leave this lobby right after this because, man, I, I just can't handle the stress, dude. I'm, I got pressure on my pooper like every two minutes this game. <laughs> the pressure on the pooper. That's a new saying. I need to put that on a t-shirt. Pressure on the pooper. Um, but, yeah, dudes, leave in the comments what you think about this getting off 100 orgasms a day. Uh let, I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't feel right asking the ladies what their opinion is on it. I, you know, because it's just I, I. I feel weird. But ladies, if you, you know, if you're comfortable enough leaving in the comments, if you would be annoyed, if you think it would be cool, I mean, leave in the comments. Uh, I don't expect you to, and I'm totally fine with that because it's just kind of weird. Asking you to do that, but guys, dude, I know you would want to. I mean, there's some dude out there be like, fucking A-Right, I would. Be like, fucking messy drawers. 
I don't know, there's probably some 70 year old dude out there that's fucking taking Viagra that just wishes he had this disorder. He's just like, God damn, why could not be one of them guys, you know? I don't even, I don't know. It was all ladies in this in this uh, video anyways. There was no dudes talking. I don't know if, all she said, this one lady kept saying, all she, she just sits there all day and it just pulses. Pulses. It's like, the fuck is it? Like a heartbeat in your shiz? It's just like every time you hear, feel a heartbeat, it's just like, ugh. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what if what if she's like a teacher at school or something, man. That's just fucking weird, dude. A hundred times a day. But hey, Mrs. Johnson, how you doing today? Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt you. It's okay, dear. It's okay. I uh, I just um I had a cough and it, it just went ahead. It escaped me. Like, what the fuck, dude? I don't know. I just wanted to do a commentary on this, you guys. I know it's kind of weird, but I just thought it was pretty intriguing and pretty fascinating in my eyes. You can see we come out 200 to 176. Don't forget to leave in your comments what you think about this 100 orgasms a day, she is. Okay, I think it's just mind-boggling. It's just effing mind-boggling. Um, but I'll probably do another commentary later on tomorrow about some things. I got a couple ideas I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, so hang in there and stay tuned to that. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate and subscribe. Yodi, signing out.